Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us learn one more interesting topic that is interactions with DynamoDB table. So how can we able to interact with DynamoDB table? So let's see what is interaction. Nothing but we are performing some operations on DynamoDB table, right? Yes. So how can we perform any operations on DynamoDB table? By using API calls. Which type of API calls? DynamoDB API calls, we can able to perform operations on DynamoDB table. So let's see at first, what are the different ways we can able to interact with DynamoDB. One way is by using AWS console. It is like graphical user interface that is GUI, where by using that graphical user interface, we can able to manage tables and table data that is we can able to add or modify or if you can say you can delete update you can do anything under the data you can able to create tables delete tables from the console itself so this is one of the way to interact with tables dynamodb tables we can even able to manage interaction with DynamoDB by using CLI, AWS CLI. So what is this AWS CLI? It's a command line interface. In order to script API calls from your terminal, that means by using your terminal window, from your terminal window, by using API calls, you can able to manage your tables and data inside your tables by using this CLI. We can even interact our DynamoDB by using code that is either Python or Java or any one of the programming language that is .NET or PHP or Ruby or Go or C++. By using such major languages, we can able to write code and we can able to interact our DynamoDB programmatically using AWS SDKs. So what does this SDK set? SDK stands for Software Development Kits. You can able to write your code to interact with the DynamoDB programmatically by using SDK, AWS SDK. This SDK provides in provides us what are the languages to write the code. It provides us the languages like uh, Python, Java, C, C++, Go, Ruby, PHP, .NET, these type of languages it provide. So another last and final, there is one more way. The final option is we can even able to interact our DynamoDB by, by using NoSQL Workbench for DynamoDB. By using this NoSQL Workbench, we can able to interact with DynamoDB. It's a tool. It's a visual IDE tool. Remember, it's a free, free, free tool. We can manage tables and data by using this tool as well. So these are the ways where we can able to interact with DynamoDB by using console. That is graphical user interface if you want to access interact with your DynamoDB table, use console. If you want to interact with terminal window by using API calls, then use AWS CLI. If you want to interact DynamoDB with code, either any one of the programming language that is Python code or Java code, then use AWS SDK. Or else if you want to interact with a free tool that is visual IDE tool, then you can use no SQL workbench. So these are the ways where you can able to interact with DynamoDB. By using, we have multiple ways, right? To interact with the DynamoDB. Yes. So by using any one of the way, you can able to interact with DynamoDB by accessing DynamoDB API. So you can able to access this DynamoDB API by using one of the way then you can able to interact with DynamoDB. So what is this DynamoDB API, sir? 
this dynamo db api is nothing but it's a organized set of operation what is this dynamo db api it's a organized it's organized as a set of operations where you can able to execute on your dynamo db table so what you execute on your dynamo db table you can execute operations right so these are organized as a set set of operations under this dynamo db api so how do you access this dynamo db api by using any one of the interaction way that is either aws console or aws cli or aws sdk or no sql workbench so let's say i have accessed my dynamo db api and now i want to perform some operations so to perform any operation what do i require so on which data you are performing your operations you are performing your operations on dynamo db table so since i am having multiple tables let's say in my company do i maintain only one table no right i'll maintain multiple tables in my dynamo db also i have created multiple tables i want only one table from them how do i get that particular table by using name only right yes i can able to get that particular table by only by using name so we need to specify name while performing each operations we need to specify name and we need to tell what is the command that i need to execute right yes so to tell that command we need to set parameters under the operations we need to tell two things what are the name that we need to specify and what are the set of parameters that are required for executing my commands to be completed those two things i need to specify so let's say if all my sended or else all my commands are executed to get the response do i do i require to set my outputs yes so under operations itself you need to set your outputs as well so what are the things that each item has each item has three things first one is name name of your table and second one is set of parameters so set of parameters that you need to provide why these set of parameters are required sir these set of parameters required for what for your commands for commands so these set of parameters required for commands in order to execute or else complete your commands these set of parameters you need to specify now at last you get uh, some output right so that also you need to set right yes set of outputs so the, the these three things the these three things that you need to set to send back the response for what this is required this is required for response so these are the three things that each operations must need to specify first one is what name and second one is what set parameters that is required for completing our commands and at last dynamo db will send you some response back right for that we need to set the outputs as well these are the three things that we need to set for each operation for example if we take create table api call if i want to create a table then what i do i'll provide a name that is create table so what happens it will create a dynamo db table so in order to run this command do i need to tell what is the table name yes for what table that i want to create that i need to specify right yes that name i need to specify that is the first parameter then so in order to do this that is in order to create a table with the given table name what we need to provide the parameters as we need to provide parameters as 
RCUs and WCUs. What are RCUs and WCUs? Sir? Read capacity units and write capacity units that you would require to provision or provide for the table. Right? Yes. Let's say my table is created based on my specified set of parameters that is RCUs and WCUs. Now, my table is successfully created, right? So, in order to provide acknowledgement from the DynamoDB table, so what we require? We need to set the output. From there only, we go, we can get response. So, for that, we need to set the output. So, I'll set my output as operation is successful. Then, I got response as operation is successful. I hope you understood this example and you understood these three parameters as well. So let's see one thing that is by using this DynamoDB API calls, by using this DynamoDB API calls, what are the different types of operations? What are the categories of operations that I can able to perform on my DynamoDB, DynamoDB table? So let's see that thing. What are the different types of different categories of operations that I can able to perform on DynamoDB tables by using DynamoDB API calls. So let's see about it. We can able to perform mainly three types of operations. That is control plane operations. and data plane operations as well as translation operations. These are the three types of operations that we can able to perform by using this DynamoDB API. When do these control plane operations do I need to use sir? If you want, if you want table level control, if you want table level control by using API calls. If you want table level control by using API calls, then you prefer this control plane operations. So when do you prefer this? If you want table level control operations, if you want control over table level, that means what, what does it mean, sir? So by using these operations, we can able to manage DynamoDB tables in our account. By using these operations, we can able to manage our DynamoDB tables in our account. So in our account, we can able to manage our DynamoDB tables by using these API calls. So let's see those API calls. So let's say I want, I want to list tables in my account. So I want to list tables in my account, then I can use the API call. The name of the API call is list tables. What is that? List tables API. So list tables API is a call where you can use it to list your tables in your account. If you want information about particular table, then use describe table. What is the command that you use? describe table to see the information about particular table you want to use. Let's say if you want to modify or make changes to your tables, then you can use create create table or update table 
for updating and delete table for deleting purpose so you can use these three so based on your need for creating you can use create table for updating you can use update table for deleting you can use delete table so these are the operations that you can able to perform by using api calls on your tables so since you are controlling your tables under these operations we call it as control plane operations so what about data plane operations sir in this data plane operations you control your table data your level of control is what your table data by using api call when do you use these data plane operations if you want table data level control if you want data level control if you want data level control by using api calls under tables you have data right yes so if you want that data level control by using api calls then use this data plane operations so by using this data plane operations what we can able to do sir we can able to do crud operations what is this crud full form sir crud full form c stands for create r stands for read u stands for update and d stands for delete so you can able to perform these operations on what table data so where you can able to perform on table data you can able to create data read data update data delete data so if you want data level control then use these data plane operations let's say i have a table and some data which is present in it now i want to read my data then what are the operations do i have sir so based on your requirement you can choose any one of the operation from the following so now i will tell you what are the operations that we have to read our data by using api calls so if you want to call that means if you want to read single item then use get item api what call you need to use get item api to read single item so to read a particular single item does dynamo db required some particular key right yes to identify any particular item this dynamo db requires some particular key what is that particular key we call it as primary key what is that primary key so while while using this api call get item api you need to specify this primary key right so then only your api call that is dynamo db can able to identify whatever the item that you are requesting for so what does this primary key will contain sir this primary key will contain partition key and partition key and sort key as well so it contain these two keys so while specifying you need to specify both partition key and sort key then only it will be easy to identify your item let's say so here under get api how many items do i get sir i get only one item that means so to read single item it will return how many items single item only single item if that item will found then it will return one or else if that item is not found it will return zero
let's say if you want multiple items if you want to read multiple items if you want to read multiple items then what is the command that you need to use sir you need to use batch get item api command that you need to use what command that you need to use to get to read multiple items at a time batch get item api call that you need to use so how many items how many max number of items that it can return sir it can return up to 100 values so this batch get item api call will return you up to 100 api calls so let's say let's say if you want to apply filters to your response if you want to apply filters to your response and get only data that you are looking for so you just want to get whatever the data that you are looking for and you want to filter out all the other items all the other responses from the response you want to filter all the other items in your response and get only the response that you are looking for then what is the api call that you need to use here you need to use an api call that is query what is the api call query by using this query api call you can able to get only the required items by filtering the response you will get what are the looking item for that you will get so here do you need to specify anything yes you need to specify here you need to specify two things first one is partition key so in order to get your response from multiple items you need to provide partition key and optionally your sort key condition and you can additionally able to use filter expressions in this query to get only expected looking data it will returns one or more items based on your filters let's say if you want to apply one or more filters if you want to apply only filters but not keys you don't need to specify keys so in this case is there any call available for me yes that call name is scan you can use this scan call to scan whole your data whole your table data and get only the required items after applying the filter to your response it returns matches the filter expression or not it returns only items that matches the filter expression if items do not match it won't return those items if filter expression is not matched those items will not be returned it is more costly compared to other api calls why sir because it scans whole data it scans whole data in your table so that's why it is very costly so based on your need you can choose whatever the required api api call that you want to use to do this data plane operations that is you want to perform your data level control by using this api calls use this these are most frequently used calls i am not specifying all 
because this just a session which deals with dynamo db operations so we are expressing you the most frequently used call till now you have seen read operations let's see write operations this create item is nothing but writing right yes so let's see what are the writing operations which are possible by using api calls on our dynamo let's say if you want to write only one record or one item then you can use put item api call if you want to write many records or many items at once then you you, you can use this batch write item api call so now you have seen these two things that is read data as well as write data that is nothing but create data now you can see update data as well as delete data api calls as well so if you want if you if you want to update record if you want to update record use update item api update item api now if you want to delete record or else if you want to delete item then use then use delete item api so actually these are the api calls that you are going to use to perform whatever the crud thread operations on your data in your table so i hope you understood these read operations as well as write operations and update as well as delete item operations by using api calls now at last let us see this transition operations so when do we use these transition operations sir for acid complaints you can use this transition operations so when do we use this transition operations for acid complaint for performing this transition operations you have some built in operations let's see them so if you want to read if you want to read then you can use transact get item what is that transact get item get items so if you want to write if you want to write then you can use transact write items so you can use these two things to perform this transition operations that is transact get items and to write your data by using this transaction operations transact write items you can use so these are the two operations that you can use or else you can use particular as well using this particular api calls will be execute transaction operations or else you can even perform this data plane operations you can even perform control plane operations as well by using particular api call so you can able to perform control plane operations data plane operations and transaction operations by using these api calls whatever i specified in this video and you can also use particular to perform any type of operations that is control plane or data plane or transition operations by using api calls so 
in this video you have learned so what are the ways to interact with dynamo db and how can we access dynamo db api by using any one of the calls by using one of the way and what is this dynamo db api it's nothing but organized as a set of operations by using this dynamo db api we can able to perform operations on what dynamo db table so while performing operations what does each operation require three things name set parameters and set outputs the set parameters are required for commands and the set outputs are required for response so i hope you seen these three types of operations that we can able to perform and by using particle also you can able to perform these three types of operations so i hope you understood this video if you feel this video is contentful then please like share subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thanks for watching see you back in the next video until then bye bye guys